I really believe that the 2023 will be the last year for a V8 powered Lexus GX that is still built in Japan and I love it so much that I decided to buy it. Let's get right into it. So here's a 2023 Lexus GX460 which is likely the very last year for this model. It's going to be a, a new model coming out sometime next year. We don't know exactly when. My uh, speculation is that sometime fall of 2023 calendar year as a all new 2024 model year. So this one is going to be the last year and it has a V8 engine. Still uh, very much a proven and reliable model if somewhat outdated. But you know what? I love this vehicle so much that I have decided to buy this. Mine is coming in about a month or so, so it's still a um, few weeks away. And uh, I'm going to be, be really looking forward to driving this. So let me show you everything to do with uh, this particular model. The one I purchased is the uh, white color exterior, but it is a black line, uh, just like this one here. And there's some interesting things that you might not know about the black line. And they made some changes for a 2023 model year as well. So you can tell that not only is this part blacked out, but this section is also blacked out. It's like a black chrome, a little bit like in the nightshade version of the Toyota 4Runner. Uh, so it looks kind of black, but shiny. In the black one, you also get these fins, which you don't get on a normal Lexus GX. And the headlight looks the same as before. You get the big L shaped here, the Lexus over here. Uh, and overall, the front looks amazing actually for something that is supposedly pretty outdated. Now, this one is the Nori Green, which is the color that I really wanted, but the allocation was for Eminent Pearl, which is different from a Starfire Pearl White that was the case uh, a couple of years ago. So they keep changing the color out a bit. And also the Black Line Edition gets a new color for the interior. And it's hard to tell on the camera here, but this is the light gray. Almost looks like um, white on the camera here, but it is a gray color. And this is the change from last year too. They had a much darker gray. And so I was a bit surprised by that. I didn't think they would bother changing the interior for Black Line Edition. So I'm not quite sure if I like it better, but I guess lighter color does look better in contrast with this dark uh, interior so I'll come back in um, in the interior in a moment let's keep on looking at the outside for a bit more so you guys get a taste of what I'll be driving uh, I'm really excited about the GX and I know that you guys might be wondering why I would buy the um, old version or this version and not the new version well because I really wanted this V8 model and typically I don't keep car for very long anyway so I'll probably buy this keep it for a year or a year and a half and when the new model comes out if I like it better I will trade this in for the new Lexus GX 550 I think is what it's going to be called for now I'm loving the quality of this GX there's nothing quite like this out there it's basically a more luxurious uh, V8 powered version of the 4Runner in some way oh let me go back to the rear here so you do get kind of black black colored uh, tail lamp that's also uh, unique to um, black line edition and this is the same as the front you can't tell but it is tinted it's kind of like um, tinted slash grayed out chrome but it's shiny so it's different from just blackout so that's unique to the black line edition here and here you can't really tell but it is a dark tinted color and uh, that makes it quite unique and then even on the rooftop here, this is blacked out. So that's also blacked out. And then we get uh, unique wheels for the black line edition. Nothing super fancy about the wheels, but this one is glossy black. And we get uh, Michelin Latitude Tour HP, which is a, an okay tire. Nothing wrong with these Michelin tires. More for comfort and street use than off-roading. So. If I decide to keep this a little bit longer, I will definitely um, change the tires out. Now you can just, uh, while I'm here, you can just tell when you look inside how different it is from my 4Runner, for example. It, the way they marked everything up very cleanly, neatly, and everything is covered up 
all the way to the front with this part also has a little cover. So there is definitely a difference in terms of how they engineer and create the GX compared to the 4Runner. There's an added special touch everywhere. Now uh, let's take a look uh, at the engine before we look at the inside because that's the highlight of Lexus GX because it's the last SUV with a V8 engine for Lexus. We still have a Lexus LC and Lexus IS500 with a V8. But now that uh, LX doesn't have a V8 and neither does LS for a while now, this is it. And I really wanted to buy the V8 engine Lexus. By the way, Ahmed from Car Kirna also bought a Lexus GX recently, so we both were laughing that we have the same passion for this model. Beautifully crafted inside. Everything looks super well done. As an engineer, I'm pretty finicky about how everything gets tightened and all the wirings and everything is neatly organized and even the wirings and so forth is just really well done. Now this one is a show car, so they wrapped up the battery here. That's not normal. Uh, and, uh, and the cover and everything looks really well organized. You can't really see very much because pretty well everything is covered up. You get a really thick sound deadening here, uh, which you don't get in a lot of the cars. Even a little bit of uh, a baffle here, right here for noise and also to prevent any kind of debris from going in. And also you can tell the thickness of the metal here. Just look at the uh, actual metal. This is same for the 4Runner too. But these older models have a thicker metal and it's got a really nice thump when you close the hood or a door because there's not much uh, aluminum material. These are all metal. And so you get this really solid, solid feel. And the paint job is just amazing. Let's take a look inside. I'm gonna hop in here. So nothing super special anymore because this is your standard GX except just uh, recently they updated the whole infotainment system. So we finally get Apple CarPlay, which is shocking that we finally get that, but they did update this area here and this whole section has been updated as well. And otherwise it's kind of tried and true from before. Uh, I think they also changed the styling of the steering not too long ago and you get this uh, kind of darkened wood that looks uh, actually pretty classy. So the dash is very blacked out. I guess that's why it's called a black line. But contrasting with this uh, light gray seat, looks really, really good. We don't get big panorama roof or anything like that. Obviously, we just get a small one here. And that's something that we just have to live with because in the older model, when this moved to the TNGA F platform, we will get a huge panorama room roof, I will assume. But you know what? The main thing is the driving of this GX. I've driven this many times. I've done some car reviews on it, but there is something really amazing about hydraulic power assist. So this one is still using hydraulic power steering, which is really rare. 99% of cars out there are all electric power steering. And I know that uh, electric power steering still has a, an actual mechanism behind it. It's not completely electric, as some, of, some people might think that way, but uh, it's not, it's not a completely wired system. It is mechanical system, even for electric power steering. But with the hydraulic power steering, you have a hydraulic uh, system that build up the pressure to bring uh, power assist to the steering. And there's something really, really wonderful about that feeling that is almost impossible to replicate with, uh, without the hydraulic system. Uh, and then, interesting enough, when you compare this one to the 4Runner, for some reason the GX has a stiffer and a heavier steering wheel uh, on the road. So it has a more feedback and actually feels sportier than the 4Runner, which is a bit odd. You think that the 4Runner will be the sportier one and this one a bit more of a a comfort oriented but that's not the case and I think that's because this one is based on Land Cruiser Prado which is very popular in Asia and Land Cruiser Prado tends to be like a sportier version of a Land Cruiser that's why I think they designed and engineered the Land Cruiser Prado and therefore the Lexus GX to have a little bit more character when driving 
Uh, so it's, that's probably why. But steering is shockingly good. You'll be very, very impressed if you ever drive one. Uh, it does have air suspension in the back and uh, suspension control is pretty good. Uh, it does have a sort of a softer tire, so it's not exactly sporty around corners, but many of us, uh, media and even my friends at uh, engineering companies love the GX for how it drives. Now let's take a look at the back seat here for a second. And of course, I'll give you guys more detail once I get mine, but when I get mine, it's going to be in the middle of the winter and might be harder to show you. So I can show you the, uh, the showroom car. As you can tell, the seat actually slides forward and backward. I can't do that right now, but that one is moved forward. If you do that, you get more space in the back, but also to facilitate going to the back because there is a third seat. Now, this is a bit of a joke in terms of the seating arrangement and uh, I can't lift it right now while holding my camera but uh, yeah I can't do that right now but it's gotten better over the years compared to the previous generation GX uh, still not a true third seater and I don't really use it anyway good to know that there is a third seat that I can use once in a while uh, but it does uh, take a huge amount of the trunk if um, if the third seat is up uh, but when you put the seat down it's pretty flat so that's a good thing in the older GX it used to be on the side right here and that was very awkward so this part looks a little bit like a, a forerunner you put your seat belt here which is a bad, bad design actually just goes like this and then you just hold it in but it still rattles a bit you think I had a GX before, so I had two GXs before, always loved it, and for whatever reason I sold them and I bought the Forerunner, but I missed the V8 Power GX, so I'm just really happy to be able to get back into one. You can tell the paint job, even inside here is super shiny and good amount of clear coat. Most manufacturers wouldn't do that, they wouldn't add the same amount of clear coat here as they do the outside, but on a GX they still do just beautiful paint job in case you weren't aware this is built in Tahara factory and I've been to Tahara factory you know six seven maybe even eight times and it's a very simple old factory but that's where most of the Lexus are built why because the best production workers and the most experienced team leaders are at Tahara and they have so much experience they're actually called Takumi members Takumi in Japanese means like um, artisan or craftsman specialist because they have more than 30 or 35 years of experience in production and manufacturing. So Takumi members and their production workers would have built this thing in Tahara factory and that's why it's so well built. This thing keeps winning reliability and quality um, surveys because it's so reliable and you can just tell if I run my finger here, look at that. There's no way other manufacturers can do this. The gap is only about 3.5 millimeter. But more importantly, look at, look at how everything is aligned. It's completely aligned on this side and that side. It's impossible to get that level of alignment, integrity and panel fit in normal cars. I mean, look at this. Just a perfect fit and finish all the way through. Also perfect here and uh, nothing is nothing is out of alignment and all the paint looks fantastic very little orange peel really glossy paint once again the one i'm getting is imminent pearl white i wanted the uh, nori green but sometimes that's the way it happens and you can't always choose the color you want but that's okay the white is very very classic car color and it won't age if I decide to keep this thing. And so I'm really looking forward to this. Do you guys still like the current yeah, GX? Lots of uh, speculation, of course, on the new GX coming up. What I'm hearing from Japan and from the media over there is that the new GX will be a lot more rugged, a lot more like a Land Rover Defender, and that it looks astonishingly good is what I'm hearing as a rumors. Who knows if that's true or not? and it should come out sometime late next year. But it should be continued to be built at the Tara factory in Japan, so that's a good news. 
and you'll just be a different kind of a GX compared to this one. This is definitely a little bit of a dinosaur, but I'm sure they will switch the steering to the electric steering, and so it just wouldn't have the same feeling. Just like the Lexus LX lost a good sensation on the steering when they switched over to electric power steering, the new model is right behind there. And so sometimes when you get new models, I'm sure you will have more features and more technology and better fuel efficiency, but it doesn't mean it will drive better. If you don't mind uh, gas guzzling V8, I think that this GX is going to be the best driving GX of all time. Once again, because of the hydraulic power steering, because of the beautiful V8 engine, uh, I'm really glad I was able to secure one. I'm super excited. I haven't decided if I'm going to sell my Tundra TRD Pro and just use this instead. I'll figure that out when I uh, get closer to the date. But if I decide to do that and I keep the Toyota 4Runner, I will have two Tahara built cars uh, as one of my uh, cars here. So that'll be really exciting to have two old fashioned but proven and absolutely lovely uh, vehicles that could last forever. These things will last forever, honestly. This is a car that's worth keeping lifetime. So that's it for now for the Lexus GX quick walk around. I'm going to tell you more about this when I actually get mine. So stay tuned for more things later on.